What's up everybody? Dark Date here. So today I'm gonna do a uh, quick tutorial on how to install Sony Vegas 14. Now, for those of you that are unaware, this is a new version that has been released as of, uh, looks like September 2016. Now, the company Magix has acquired Sony Vegas. Um, it, it is official, so how much that's gonna change the content of the actual program. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I can tell you that it looks like this company is the one that uh, went ahead and released the, uh, the piece of software. Now, for this, um, I will go ahead and link everything in the description below as far as the programs and, you know, I'll type up the, uh, the instructions as well. Now, once you download all the files, you're going to have three in total and you can see those right here so you're going to get the sapphire and the lagarith setup um these are more or less uh from what appear to be add-ons uh so special effects add-ons stuff like that uh you don't necessarily need to download those uh unless you intend on using them uh, i wouldn't do it now what you see here is vegas pro 14 by myth now this is here because I created it, okay? Because I already extracted it, um, but for sake of science, we'll just delete it. And I will go ahead and extract it. So the program you're gonna need, um, you, you could just, I, I basically just told my anti-malware protection shut up in case you know, it detects anything, um, which it will not. Uh, now with this, you're going to need either WinRAR or 7-Zip, uh, uh, WinZip, any sort of compression uh, zip tool will will work. Uh, once you right click it, you're going to say Extract to Vegas Pro 14 by Myth. Now what this does is it creates a folder and then it puts the files in there. If you were just, uh, just to say Extract here, what would do it, it would just dump all the files in there in this directory and you don't want that because uh, it's going to be sloppy. So we'll say extract to Vegas Pro 14 by myth. Now it's doing its thing. Uh, it should be pretty fast because I have an SSD. And boom, it's done. So now it's here, right? Now it co does come with instructions. It pretty much says, you know, install it, don't open it, patch it, meaning, you know, patch it. Uh, there's ways around licensing and stuff like that. So more or less, it's, it's going to fix that for you. So we'll go here and here's the base program. It's 426 megs, uh, not that big of an install. So we'll go ahead and we'll say run as administrator. Okay. All right. That's fine. You can change the path where you want it. Uh, for me, I'll just leave it there. We'll say install. Okay, now we're going to finish. Now, for some of you that, uh, that are doing this for the first time because I did run, I uninstalled it uh, just to show you guys the full, you know, walkthrough. For some of you guys, it might give you an error. Um, just click the box on the left uh, after you try to launch it, uh, or it might not even install. It might say like retry abort or ignore. Just click ignore. Um, for some reason, I don't know when they compiled the package. Uh, it seems like to be an error or something, but it's nothing really major to worry about. Now for this, you're going to want to run the patch. Again, you could run it as administrator. Now this patch uh, has been scanned with Windows Defender, uh, Malware, Malwarebytes, Anti-Malware, uh, the full licensed version. And I do run Anti-Exploit add-on on my um, desktop on top of Malwarebytes. So there's multiple things that I've scanned it with and it's clean. I, I haven't noticed anything and I you know, have a fairly large network so uh, at home, so it's fine. So you run it, 
and here we go so the patch this is what I was talking about then another language let's click on the one on the left now here we go now here it's giving you the error that I was talking about it gives you abort retry or ignore now you can retry as many times as you want it does not matter uh, it's not gonna work if you hit abort you're gonna basically cancel everything you don't want to do that what you want to do next is just hit it, ignore and then just hit finish uh, this is probably like Czech or Russian it looks like uh, but just hit finish and it's done now your install is gonna be in your C drive under program files under Vegas Vegas Pro 14 and you scroll down you look for the executable and there it is Vegas 140.exe now we'll go ahead and we'll launch it you can see here it's licensed too so it's already licensed so it's not gonna ask you to activate it or anything and here we go now the reason this is happening is because um, like I said I already had this installed so it's just telling me hey you had a project open uh, so I'll just say ignore and I'll just say new for the sake of science now here's the thing guys here's what I noticed I tried to drag a video file um, in uh, in Vegas after I installed it this was for the first time and what I noticed is um, for some reason it wasn't working now what fixed this was a basic reboot so for anyone you know who thinks that they really don't have to reboot um you have to reboot there, there's no kidding around that you, you are gonna have to reboot um so even for say something like this you see how if you look on my screen there's an arrow and then there's like a, a little plus sign and it's gonna allow me to drop it in here that's fine yeah that's fine now it went totally fine right now the first time i installed this it wasn't letting me add any sort of media files and i was like oh great the program's not working this sucks crap no it does work what you guys need to do is after you patch it um reboot reboot your computer you should be good to go now i will give you guys an update as to what bugs i found and i don't know if it's related to this version directly that i've installed uh that you guys are going to install but i will tell you now that when i go to render as um and i go to pick a render it stays stuck at 100 percent it just never finishes and i've left it there for hours it, it just doesn't finish so uh, what i have done is i've already rendered two videos and they finish totally fine so if it's if you see that it's stuck at rendered at 100 percent for more than 10 minutes more than five minutes just cancel it and you'll notice that um that your file is actually totally fine it's not corrupt and it's saved so again this could be a bug um it could be whoever uh, released this uh maybe something with the compile or uh the patch it, it could be a number of things i don't know but i will tell you as of now everything works in it is it is a, a complete uh package doesn't want to ask to activate again uh one of the things that i did not like about sony vegas which you'll see i have sony vegas 13 installed right here is that it was pounding my cpu so i was getting 100 percent like on all of my renders uh and it sucked because sometimes it would just make my box crash and in sony vegas 13 there was a, there was a way to off put that on your gpus what i have noticed with this new one is as soon as i go to render a project it's like at 40 45 percent cpu usage which is great uh and this is even me having spotify open winamp vlc and about 100 tabs in like firefox and chrome and totally fine i've already put out two videos on my youtube page and it, it's worked great so that's it guys um i hope this helped you some some way shape or form if you have any questions feel free to uh comment and uh subscribe like the video all that good stuff i'm very social so if you guys hit me up i should be able to answer within a few hours if you have any questions and that's it guys take care see you in the next one
Oh, baby.